Hello and welcome to Seville. Welcome to the Estadio Benito Villa Marín. I'm Derek Ray and my commentary partner here on the gantry is the former Arsenal and West Ham player Stuart Robson. And we can't wait for this one to start with justifiable cause. It's Real Betis versus Manchester United. Well, Derek, when looking forward to this game, you can't help but notice there are some great matchups all over the pitch, particularly in those central areas. Whichever team wins more of those battles will win the game. And here's the starting 11 for Real Betis. Rui da Silva begins between the posts. Canales plays with Juanmi on the flanks. And the central striker is Borja Iglesias. Here's the lineup for Manchester United. David De Gea begins in goal. Christian Eriksen plays with Casemiro in the centre of the pitch. And handed a solo role in attack is Marcus Rashford. And they kick off here. Ericsson. Rashford. Rashford. Laid into the box. Well, they can keep possession of it now. And providing width. Can he play it in? The referee is given a corner. <laughs> Trying to deliver it accurately. Well, sadly, a bit of a tame effort, that one. And far too close to the goalkeeper. Given away by Manchester United. Fekir. In possession, Fekir. Fekir. Nicely timed tackle. Oh, very effective play, and they might be onto something. Rodriguez. Chance to play it in. Fekir. William Carvalho. And the keeper getting across to stop it. <laughs> Elects to go short. Rodriguez Yusuf Sabali with it Fekia and it's with Rodriguez and somehow kept out by De Gea
Who can they pick out? Well, that was quality. Last ditch defending. Jaden Sancho. Jaden Sancho. Rashford. Let's fly here. Well, the shot more than decent. It had power, just couldn't find the target. Well, the hosts have had so much of the ball in the last 15 minutes and they're playing really well and creating chances. It's surely only a matter of time before they take the lead here. And can they create something? The end product just wasn't there. Fekir. William Carvalho. No way through. Bruno Fernandes. Well, visionary passing. And a penalty awarded. Spot kick coming up. Well, there might have been a case for a yellow card, but the referee didn't see it. That well, Derek, it's a foul, yes. A penalty, absolutely. But for me, it's not a yellow card. The ref has got that right. This to make it 1-0. A goal! Calmly taken spot kick. Well, here it is again. The keeper tries to read the penalty, but in the end, he just makes no effort whatsoever. That's a strange decision. So they're playing again. It's Manchester United with the lead here. Juan Mi. Promising looking attack. Could cross it in here. Dallo. Back to Ericsson. Fernandes. Now with Sancho, Ericsson, well, what can they do to stop him running at them? Spot on with that tackle. And there is the whistle for half-time here in Seville. Well, an influential presence up to this point, Bruno Fernandes. What did you think of what you saw from him? Well, Derek, he took his goal well and was a constant threat throughout that first half. I thought he showed a lot of skill to get out of tight situations and he had a real impact on the play. So the two teams have switched around and the second half is underway. Moving the ball nicely, trying to carve out the equaliser. We're getting right on top of their opponents and winning it back. Fekir. Firing it towards goal, and not quite accurate enough, Stuart. Well, I think he should do better there, but at least they're now knocking at the door. Here's a change for Manchester United. Casemiro. Ericsson. Anthony. Well, possession is the watchword inside their own territory. Well, they have the ball once more. 
Now, let's see what they can do here. William Carvalho. Well, the keeper had to concentrate. Well, they've decided to make a change. Well, just listen to the crowd. They know this is a big chance to equalise. Short corner taken. Pedzela. And return to Fekir. William Carvalho. Happy to take on the shot. Superb block. Fekir! Great block again. And the danger is averted. Ericsson. Anthony. United might be able to cash in. Really vital interception here. Rodriguez. Well, the hosts have dominated the flow of the game in the last 15 minutes. And up to a point, they've looked threatening. But they need to be more clinical if they are to get this equaliser. Short. A really intense pressure applied. Rodriguez. Fekia. Well, let's see what they have in store for them on the break. And just like that, the counter-attack comes to an end. The danger averted for now, but they have a corner to defend. And United will switch things around personnel-wise. Now, how about the short corner? Fred. Here's Casemiro. And Casemiro, his pass gobbled up. Good strength to keep the ball. He has teammates around him. Joaquin. A fine block. Deflected behind. Corner forthcoming. And they are committed to making the substitution here. It's a short corner. Decided to come in from the flank. Splendid defending, and it needed to be. Oh, you don't want to lose the ball in that position. Well, goal kick, just as it was looking promising. So, a personnel change then. Bruno Fernandes. We might very well have late excitement here. Five minutes to go. And just one goal between them. Fernandes. Well, when you can keep the ball like this, it's got to be really annoying for the opposition. Bruno Fernandes. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Well, just listen to the atmosphere in here. The fans do it every bit to try and spur their team on for this equaliser. Well, do they have a goal in the future? They're giving it a go. Really vital interception. William Carvalho. And there goes the final whistle. Manchester United are the winners today anyway. What did you think of their performance, all told? Yes, Derek, there wasn't much in it, to be honest. Really competitive game with chances at both ends, but they probably just about edged it overall and deserved the result in the end. Well, Bruno Fernandes serving his team well in typical fashion. Sum up his contribution for us. Well, I enjoyed watching him today. His work rate, skill and movement were excellent and he fully deserved to score that winning goal.